Lockheed Martin has revealed new details about the AGM-158 Extreme Range variant of the Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missile family. As a key part of the U.S. Air Force's deep strike capabilities, this missile plays a growing role in air-launched anti-ship operations. The AGM-158XR has been under development for some time now, but the unveiling at the Air Force Association's Air, Space, and Cyber event in Washington, D.C., marks the first time its configuration has been officially presented. In today's video, we're exploring everything we know about the AGM-158XR, Lockheed Martin's newest stealth cruise missile, as well as the implications it could have for future conflict scenarios, particularly in the Pacific region. Let's dive right in. The AGM-158XR retains the trapezoidal cross-section and low-observable design familiar to the JASSM and LRASM variants, but it features a larger fuselage. This extended fuselage allows for significantly more fuel and a larger warhead, estimated at about 450 kilograms. This increase in size translates directly to a massive boost in range with the XR version believed to reach distances of approximately 1,600 kilometers. By comparison, earlier variants were reported to have a range of 925 kilometers. The AGM-158XR is expected to enhance operational flexibility, reducing reliance on refueling tankers and allowing aircraft to operate from safer distances. According to an official from Lockheed Martin, the modular design and digital architecture of the XR variant will also streamline upgrades and modifications, ensuring the weapon remains adaptable to future mission requirements. The missile's extended range makes it ideal for hitting heavily defended targets from a safe distance, increasing the survivability of both the aircraft and the missile. The XR also fits into the evolution of the broader AGM-158 family, which includes various iterations of the JASSM and LRASM. The AGM-158B has already enhanced the range and targeting capabilities of the missile family, while the AGM-158D, still in development, will introduce new data link capabilities for post-launch retargeting. On the anti-ship front, the AGM-158C is designed to navigate dense, hostile environments and can now communicate within a networked battle space, potentially allowing multiple missiles to coordinate strikes autonomously. According to Lockheed Martin, they are deliberately naming the new variant AGM-158XR rather than JASSM-XR, signaling that its capabilities could be adapted to both the JASSM and LRASM portfolios. This would provide a critical long-range strike capability against heavily defended naval targets, which could play a key role in addressing potential threats from nations like China, where anti-access and area denial strategies are used to limit U.S. military operations near their borders. Additionally, the possibility of further increasing the XR's range by trading warhead size for additional fuel has been considered, though balance and weight restrictions may limit this option. Current tests suggest that the XR variant can be carried by all platforms that accommodate JASM or LRASM, such as the F-15E, the FA-18EF, and various U.S. bombers. The missile may also see integration with the Rapid Dragon palletized munitions system, which uses cargo aircraft as potential launch platforms. This would provide transport planes with a standoff strike capability greatly expanding their operational use. The AGM-158XR represents a major advancement in missile technology, particularly in terms of range and operational flexibility. With the U.S. military's focus shifting toward long-range precision strike capabilities, the XR could play a critical role in future conflict scenarios, especially in the Pacific region. As development continues, it's expected that this missile will become an essential tool in maintaining air superiority and addressing evolving threats. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this video informative, 
make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest defense news and analyses.